Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Carter got a few hours sleep there. I just kicked the bed and told him, get up, You've got work to do. He is butchering first. Okay, let's take that back off. Um, activities, Carter. Yeah, your hunt is back up to a three. You've got plenty of, of twos you need to be working on. In fact, let's just make that happen now. Carter. There we go. We could use transporting. We could use um, transporting? So your ranching is next. I see. Okay, let's work that down a notch too. <laughs> um, there. We'll gradually get you uh, back to where you need to be ranching and then scavenging. Okay, so constructing. So Carter and... One more time, what you got? Repairing fence. Okay, lots of repairing to do, but actually what I want you to do, I was hoping you would just do it on your own, is to start deconstructing. And that's gonna give you the raw materials you need to, let's see, deconstruct. I miss anything in here? Uh, deconstruct that one to do the repairs that are coming up. So if you can break those down, then we can get all these other ones repaired. Anyway, Rita was making lots of oils. And she's going to get some more cooking done. Then she'll grab herself a, a breakfast. What time is it? 11 in the morning. Year 4. Day 13. Just two survivors left. And everything is still functioning. No, it's not. Carter's got to get to work on this here real quick. In fact, I'd say, Carter, that is your next job. Repair. We have enough now? We do not. But we, Simon did get a lot of these fired up so that he should be able to uh, define alloy sitting in the furnaces. Okay. So Rita needs to do some cooking, and then she needs to be loading furnaces and get another round of alloys ready to go for when it's just Carter left. And he can't repair and do the furnaces at the same time. It'd be nice if Rita got a few more meals into the very empty looking freezer right here. There's three meals waiting. But if she doesn't, then he can survive just fine on other things. We've got dried meats and fruits and sweet syrups. And and uh, yeah, he'll, he'll make it. Destroyed four devices. So that's got to be rebuilt that one in order to power that one um, what else oh that's also down and that's so they they wiped out almost everything on this side yeah it was risky putting them out there to begin with in fact maybe we'll have them move that back in now you were only there because of this yeah so all these could go away let's do that you are remove can I move you I cannot. You have to be rebuilt first. Okay. So you... we just leave you alone. You'll be a great target for the next round. These, though, are... Well, they were needed in that they were protecting this. Oh, and this protects this. Right. So that one will keep. So it goes from there to there out to you. And you were just convenient. Okay. So Carter is repairing this guy. He's almost done. Then... We'll be back up and running again. Meanwhile, hopefully we're not using that power, even though it's broken down. No, we're consuming zero. Okay. That means these guys have had a chance to get some catching up, and they're looking pretty good. They're looking even. I wonder if the game resets that when you turn off, turn back on again. Because this one was completely empty, while these were, you know, four of the five were mostly filled. So it seems strange that they evened out like that. Uh, Carter is just finishing up. Rita, what you doing? Why don't I see a Rita? You went to go harvest some more. Okay. So, buttermelons, we have 11, 1,700 of them. Whoa. Okay. So, you are no longer harvest. You are ready to harvest. Let's do a few of you. Not much, just a few. Then I'll turn you off as well. You're done. What else is out here? We're done here. And I'd say we're done here. Harvest. Okay. Yeah. 
So get just a few of you done. Um, unpowered device. Orbital radio. Unpowered. It did get turned off? No. Orbital radio is unpowered. Is it because this isn't running? No, this is running now. Maybe that's an old message. We'll see if it comes up again. Anyway, Rita. I'd say that's enough. So this field is now no longer, and you can transport those in. Um, haul. And let's make sure that we're not going to dry them. Do we have dried smoke leaf? We do. So let's turn you off. You're at keep empty. Well, we'll just do it that way. I can't tell if that's a good red X or a bad red X. <laughs> oh, this game. Okay, so Carter is getting something to eat. And Rita will be as... You, you didn't do it. Okay, so let's get you to haul these in. Let's do that. She wants to feed them, but they've still got food enough for at least another couple of days. So that's not critical. Carter, you are repairing a wind turbine. And then I want you to uh, repair this one. <clears throat> Once that's done, we'll set it to move. We're not open anywhere, right? We are not exposed. All of our fence is contiguous. So this did take a little bit of damage. Eight, you know, it took 15% of it was damaged. So as I was starting to tear all this inner fence out in between episodes, I got to thinking, you know, this might be programmed as a target. The animals just head here first kind of a thing. So if that's the case, then... And we're back, we're back. Then maybe I want a second layer in here. A way to protect that. So I left the fencing around it and around this guy. So if they do go through, they've still got more fences to get through. So that just seems like a good precaution. There's nowhere else that we've got these towers actually uh, compromising the fencing like that. So Carter's going to repair that one. Rita is, Rita is transporting. I'm sure she's going to get something to eat next, right? Oh, she did already. Huh, I didn't notice. Okay, so you're doing that. Then let's get another round of bread going. Bread, in fact, let's do two rounds of bread. We haven't had bread for a while, so let's get that in the oven. Okay, Carter's working on that. Otherwise, what's happening? I just saw that head right there coming down. I didn't see the body. It looked like a person walking down the, right down the mountain. It's like, whoa, we don't have another... Edmund walking in saying, Hi guys, can I stay with you? Well, that would extend the game beyond what I had planned. Um, Rita's making bread. Carter. Okay, when you get this guy fixed, we're going to set it to move. I still can't. Uh, needs to be repaired first. Though I wonder if I had gotten rid of repair, if we could have moved it first and then repaired it in there. Either way, we'll get it moved right now and out of harm's way. Okay, you can move back to here. That was just an experiment. It wasn't necessary. So I think i got to set you on this one. Yeah, move that while you're out here. Okay. So that's been destroyed. It's not a high priority. I need 15 logs. A higher priority is to get the trees cut down so we don't have any more long repair trips to make. Carter's going to drop this off. It's 2100. They're probably going to get to bed pretty early tonight. I would imagine so. Otherwise, it's been a nice peaceful day of giving us a chance to get caught up. Um, I think that's enough Let's see, repairs. I'm not seeing just the 11. No, nope, there's a 6 and a 4 and a 2 and 1. Something just went screaming by. A couple of them. So we've got the carbon nanotubes sitting around. So, no, let's not visit a Draca. Let's play some music and look at a Shroom Torch. And... 
Yeah, let's let Rita do that, and then she can as well play some music or something. And then you two should head off to get some sleep and be ready to start the day tomorrow. So what you doing now? Good. We're over here and have a conversation. So, plus 12 with Carter. Rita doesn't hate him. Carter plus 13 with Rita. Wouldn't it be something if we finally got our marriage after all of this? Finally got to use the, uh, the wedding chapel? <laughs> okay. Disapproved of Rita's training routine. Oh, well. Never mind. So much for that. So... No more opinion at all. It just went away. Look at that. Dude. No wonder you're single. Mm. Okay. No more hope. Yeah. I want you guys repairing fence door. Now, Carter, why don't you just head to bed? Well, I guess both of you want to get one more thing in. Alright, fine. Do that. Tomorrow, maybe Rita can do some more hauling. These guys need to come in. Do we still have branches or sticks anywhere? Um, on the porch, we do have 200. That is what I'm thinking it is, right? Yeah. So I suppose that's enough to get us by. Cooking needs it. Furnaces need it. And they could pull it down pretty quickly. So I'm thinking one more hauling job, and those would be out here somewhere? Right there. So we still have 70. Let's double click on them. There we go. 195. So there's a, a job for Rita tomorrow. Otherwise, she's getting something to eat. Carter's going to sleep. So Carter, food-wise, you'll need a breakfast. Rita won't. You guys are going to get to sleep. Set the speed up to 2 and... Let's get on to tomorrow. Boy, that sun comes up early in the spring. Well, I guess we're summertime now. Animal attack of 17. It was bright at 3 a.m. 17 coming in, and of course it's going to rain more beef on us. And from down here, which is always frustrating because they don't track well from down here. They take forever to get there. But we'll just wait and see what happens. At least they can't reach over the fence and beat up our, our own animals. Would they do that? Would they attack other Olfen? I don't know. They're crazed. Driven insane by these antenna signals. Um, Carter, where are you at now? You're at 80%. 70%. Hmm. Six in the morning. We'll kick the speed back up, let you guys get up naturally. Work you till late tonight. So these guys are definitely splitting up. Though they're not really sure. Only one of them's positive. Damage wooden pole. You guys are pounding on things over here. Alright, so let's set these guys. Let's go back to speed one. And these two will set down here. So they're going to come in. Actually, if we could wait until we turn the corner, is that possible? We'll just set you to right there. Control circuit has been deactivated. Oh, meaning we don't have weapons right now. Okay. Damage carbon fence. Okay, let's just pause this for a second. So you two are going out over here. And where am I? You two. Yeah, that's actually fine. Do you next target? What am I not seeing? You're doing that. Okay. All right, we'll go with that until it proves we need to do something different. You're just gonna hang around here and bang on things, aren't you? You are. Okay. Well, these guys are going around. How far around? I don't know. Their target is right here. Oh, look at that. Okay, now you're angry at the laser and you're going to go find them. Cool. Alright, so over here, we're still going at this one. Destroyed a wooden power pole. 
That's what over here. Yeah. So these guys are tracking around. You're you're giving up and you're tracking around too. These guys are a little worried about what's happening. Our our own guys here. Yeah. Whoa. What is this? And you are turning the corner. Cool. Where's our missiles? There they are. Boom. I hadn't heard them. Okay, so destroyed wooden power pole. Um, orbital communications not possible. We finally turned off our circuit over here. That first time that I watched that, that's the fact we weren't getting this message before. It was the first many episodes where we had this thing running. The circuit was never turning off by itself. It's only the last couple times we've seen that. All right, you're down, and that means I. You guys are insisting on going here. Do I wait for you to continue around, or do I... Let's see. You're going to continue. All right. I'll just... I won't attack you yet. Oh, you don't know what to do. <laughs> Over here, everybody's moved. Okay. So we're not down here anymore. Where are our folks? Eating and... Questioning life. <laughs> Um, Rita, no point in sending you outside for a while, so from within here, let's, how much oil do we have now? Oil, we've got 15. Let's make one more round of oil. Oh, right there. One more round of oil, and then let's make another bread and another meat pie. Limit reached on meat pie. There is no such thing as a limit on meat pie anymore. So bread until we have 10, meat pie until we have 10. Same with you, since we're not mirroring. There we go, bread, sure. Okay, so in that case, Rita, after that, makes a meat pie. Thank you. Gotta use up that olfin in the freezer. All right, so what's happening here? You guys are all just not sure what's happening, okay. Over here, same thing. All right, let's get these missiles aimed properly since now we know what's really going on. You, no, don't hit Arita. Right in there. And you're about done. Okay, so next one is there. You're going to come over here. Like so. And... There we go, like so, and like so. Have a ball. Yeah, that'll send you around. Of course, we're gonna freak our own out too. Boom. Okay, that sends them around so the guns can finish them off. No, no loitering, get moving. Okay. So, Carter's repairing a fence. Which one are you repairing? <laughs> Rita's busy. Yep. Our defense system can take care of what's happening out here, and we can continue doing our jobs. Though, you need a little coaxing, don't you? Yeah. Alright, we're cleaning up over here. And you are insisting. Okay, let's see if you... If you. Oh, you're just out of range, I see. Just take you in a little bit closer. that do it? There you go. Oh, there went the fence. That's probably not good. Fence. Hurting. There we go. Alright. And you're dazed. Um... Carter's repairing a power pole. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, Carter, you're going to cut. Then you're going to cut. Then you're going to cut. We're not going to play this anymore. Then you're going to cut. And you're going to cut. We're finally going to get this job done. Oh, but I meant like re repairing. None. I didn't have you selected, did I? Let's try that again. There we go. Hey, when that happens... If a, a character isn't selected, it shouldn't give me the choices to right-click and choose something. Because nothing happens. So that's what's 
bugged me this whole series is every time I make a mistake like that, that mistake shouldn't even be possible. That's the way I, I look at it. I'm going to right click on something and, and say do it. You know, you've got to have somebody selected, otherwise, what are you clicking on? It isn't, it's not giving the command to anyone. So you three are still available, which has got the, the music all excited. I can't just say, oh, you're out of range. Yeah, you're going to have to be dispatched manually. Darn. Right it away, you are making those. Then you need a meal. Um... Over here, you like meat pie. And then I guess I'll have you manually come out and do this. And then hunt and hunt. And who are we? This one? Hunt. Yeah. Though if I were to set a missile over there, would it work? They're not really, they're not active, so I don't know if it will work. If I were to do that, I've been deactivated because there's no enemies here. Okay. Alrighty, so Carter, I had such a nice meal. <laughs> he doesn't feel like he's being punished at all. That's good. <laughs> Carter, stop making stupid decisions. <laughs> okay, Rita is now eating. Alright, so your stats are actually pretty good right now. So after that... Let's have you bring in uh, from this direction. You're closer to here. So let's have you bring in... Boy, these guys are kind of away from each other. Hall sticks. I want to see how you uh, manage to do that. Did you... We're done. Okay. So they must have passed away on their own. I didn't hear uh, hunting happen. Wow, there's a lot of bird and wind noises in this bush. <laughs> okay, so Rita, are you going to get the whole group of them on your own, including these? You are, except you're not going to get those 55, so you can get all of that. That's interesting, but I would, I would guess her limit is 140, so that's reasonable. When you're done, come out of here and haul these. And I may need to turn planting off on a lot of these as well so she doesn't come back in and try to continue. Rather than turning her off of gardening or farming completely, <clears throat> I'll still keep this manual. This wait for her rescue could last longer than we'd ever guess. You know, we could get five supply drops in a row. So rather than reprogram everything, this is all rotting away. I think we'll just let it. Then, in fact, uh, keep empty. Yeah. <clears throat> so, destroyed power pole. <clears throat> well, Carter's going to take care of things by whatever priority he feels is best right now. And I'm just going to let him. Now, spaceship detected. Rita, is this your ride? Let's find out. Contact. Otherwise, I was going to say... What did we need repaired in here? You guys and you guys. I guess Carbon, or Carbon, I always call him Carter Carbon when I have that in my face. I guess he already um, got down there and did it. So antibiotics, ale, and emergency rations. We already have 30 emergency rations. 31. Ale could be used for cooking. So let's go that route. We have plenty of meals. Plenty of foods. Getting dark. I thought that would have dropped quicker on speed two. Okay. So how are we doing otherwise? Um, we're discharging finally, but we had gotten... Well, we only got to 72%, so we're still really pushing this. Um, fuel is good on one of them only. Okay, so we need to refuel here. So Rita is transporting. Okay, after this, let's have you fuel up. So that one, that one, fuel. And you may fuel the other ones automatically with that. Otherwise, I need to turn your handle back up. 
So Rita, activities, your handle. Mm. That's right there. Back to a two. And... Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and take that up one notch. We'll keep your ranch going, your handle going, and your cooking going. We'll see how that goes. You'll never get to cooking by yourself, though. Your handle will always... There'll never, never be something that doesn't need to be handled here. If that makes sense. So that's going to be tough. Rotted away. Doesn't say from where. Though we may be rotten out here. Could be. Um, that never happened, did it? <clears throat> it never did. But you have been queued up to handle fermentation barrel. Now come on down here and haul these in. Otherwise, she'll be running this until midnight. Malfunction ceiling lamp. The hallmark of the end of this series. Carter, where'd you go? <clears throat> you went to go visit Adraka. Okay. When you're done, come sit in a chair. You actually enjoy that, just like Rita likes taking walks. Which I can't tell Rita to do. There's nothing to click on to say, go take a walk. She just has to pull that one off on her own. Because I don't think there is. If I click on Rita and click out here, there's nothing that pops up that says, walk over here. So I wouldn't know how to pull that off. But you've got plenty of those now. And we're... Stacks of 100s. We're a little low on this one, but otherwise we're pretty well topped off. You guys are both getting something to eat. Which means Rita needs to make some more buttermelon pie tomorrow. And meal-wise, we're still down to just three of those. Alright. <clears throat> Lamp is out in there. Temperatures? <clears throat> 15 in the freezer. 14 in the freezer. 82 indoors. Let's turn these guys off. And Carter already made it to bed okay you go to bed and Carter when you're done tomorrow you're going to handle three fireplaces and otherwise 200 of these are in 330 of those are in Carter when you're done with that you're gonna bring the rest of these in and I suppose that will do is there any reason why we should have Rita plant some more of that hay. How fast will six animals go through that? That is possible. We'll do that. Not necessarily have her do it. Rita, first thing you're going to do is get in here and make some buttermelon pie and then make some more bread. Too bad I can't stack multiple jobs on these stoves, but once you set one, it's it's busy. Otherwise, I'd have her just bounce back and forth for four or five rounds, and as a quick way of making sure she cooks without having to reprogram her routines. Okay, so we've got random logs all around. Carter did these last, and he'd managed to leave them on the ground too. Okay, well, at least there isn't very far to go to. Uh, to go and get some. He's handling fireplaces. We're still at speed two. Good. Rita's going to cook and cook, and then she'll break and do what she needs to do, if there's anything, like some relaxation. Carter's going to transport, and then he will break. That was the last job, and he doesn't need anything. So hopefully he will get into either tearing more stuff down or repairing more items, which means what? <clears throat> we have wires going out there. The poles that they replaced are just making sure the wires still exist. I don't see any wires out to this pole. What does it do? It doesn't seem to do anything anymore. So that one's a nothing. Okay. I see wires there. I don't see wires coming in. You are not on the circuit. Okay, so this one got damaged irreparably. Let's copy you. So apparently we lost something in here. We could do that. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so that's gotta go in. 
And better sooner than later. Yeah, okay, repair your ceiling lamp. And then let's get this guy built before the next thunderstorm comes. You need to be rebuilt too. So when you're done with that, let's get this guy going. Repair. Make sure that we have every chance to collect power. These things are not... Okay, there are wires there. Boy, they're hard to see. Okay, so this guy is connected. Let's do it that way. Integrity. So one that is not... Last strikes... Lightning strikes last 12 hours. I don't know what that means. Oh, in the last 12 hours. Okay, so this one is not connected. And we have this guy. Okay, so are there any others that are not connected? You are not. Because... Which one? Is it just this group here? I mean, you're no longer... Okay, there are wires going, leaving right there. Okay, there they are. So this whole circuit's down because of this one. Right there. So you are repairing this power pole over here. Otherwise, power or uh, lightning rods in this area, you're good. You're good. Out over here, you're good. Down in here, you're all down because of the, this one right here. All right, not connected. Click away. Connected. And where was he over here? Connected. I think our system's good again. Double click doesn't do anything. If I do this, I can see them all, but it doesn't give me the sense of a status. So I'm just going to assume that they're fine. All right, so Rita is now <clears throat> handling a furnace, which means more alloy. Good. It's about time. Alloy is at 50 right now, and Carter is deconstructing. Okay. So you're going to tear these down, which gives you more materials to go through and rebuild and replace. I haven't had an attack for a while. A surprisingly amount of time, too. Um, oh, we could get these done. We did have the, the Olfen come in, but I expected that the normal attacks would increase in their rate as well. Maybe it's just because we got the the hundred hungry bugs right after an Olfen attack, right after a regular attack, and it just seemed a little crazy, that, that one episode, but this one's actually been quite calm. <clears throat> so, Carter's getting something to eat. Great. And pause. Before you are done, next thing I want you to do is uh, set these traps. Set these traps. And set all those traps. And there's some more over there. Set those traps. Okay. Get all that done. And then let's get malfunction wind turbine. Let's get one group of these built. There's bricks out here still too. So maybe you can grab them from around here. Yeah. Boy, these guys are just eating away over here. You can hear all their noises. If we get one of these built, I think they're going to track further away before they turn in. I think that's how the game works. So maybe that will be to our advantage. <clears throat> Rita is... Oh, transporting to repair this guy. Good. Now, this guy has malfunction, but he's never been attacked. But I wonder if he should be moved into. Probably should. This is where it came from. Right there. Almost midnight. Carter's taking a lot longer to do these traps than I remember. So, Carter, can you grab brick from around here? Oh, you're going to work on the one fence already, but let's make sure that you are going to. You are. Okay. Are you still? You are still. I thought you would say, well, I, th I think I'm just going to go to bed. Okay, you got those done. And one more. You are. I'm impressed. Okay. Heck, for that matter, now yeah, it's one in the morning. You go to bed. 
clearing construction site. We have to uh, to butcher it to build it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you go to bed. Rita, going to bed. We got some furnaces going. Great. So hopefully she'll get the rest of these going tomorrow. Meal-wise, where are we at? Right there. Three bread, four meat pies, and two buttermelon pies. That's a good combination for them. Okay. So Rita needs everything. When she wakes up, she's got to do her own stuff. Carter as well. I'm just going to leave them alone this time. and Hopefully they will take care of all that stuff on their own. So let's buzz through the night. All the Draka are up and eating over here. Otherwise, our two survivors are sleeping away. Where are we at? 98%, 94%. They're just about done. And so we need to get that one moved and that one repaired and then power will be good. Otherwise, we are behind by 115. Okay. Rita's, they're both drinking. They need coffee. How are we doing coffee-wise? Two left. Okay. Well, coffee's got to get on Rita's list today. Generators are kicking in. So, yeah, we need a, we need a thunderstorm. We really do. Those lightning strikes do help us. And there's plenty to do within the bounds of our uh, of our encampment here stay safe from lightning all right so you're repairing a solar a solar panels down too really where all right there wow yeah at least that is scrap metal okay so handling a furnace um by doing what why'd you go in there is that ore? That's ore. Did you go through there or something? I'm not sure what you did. Hmm. But Rita, you need relaxation real bad. So, let's have you do this next. And one more round of that. Then I want you to feed the, uh, the food troughs. And then I want you to get some coffee made. Coffee there and coffee there. Then you'll find things to do on your own, whatever's next on your list. Carter, in fact, I didn't check. How many handlings? You only had two handlings, okay. So, well, the 11 more may have, may have been handlings too. So you might have a lot of things stacked here. You're handling a shroom torch. Did I? No, I told you to sit. So that was already on your list. Anyway, Carter, you're going to continue tearing things down. And that should give you all of the bench pressing. No, let's just get the last thing torn down. Okay? And that's the end of the tearing down. Okay. Right? Um, yeah, because these gates, the fences had to be torn down, and they were. Okay. So that's all done. Extreme heat wave. Ooh. Let's have... I haven't done this before in a long time, but Carter, when you're done, come and put on a straw hat. And there's more than one in here? There's only one in there. You? You. Really? We're out of straw hats? Wow. Okay, Rita, you have crafting, right? You do not. Carter? You do not. <laughs> well, I guess Carter's going to get the straw hat since Rita is most likely going to be in cooking. In a house that the, the fireplaces did get done. So we're at 67 degrees in here. Windows are all closed, so that should maintain the coolness, though it is going to get warm. Bedroom's at 74. Yeah, it's going to go up. Uh, freezer... 14, but this one with only one is going to be 20. We're going to get up to refrigerator in here. Yeah. Outside right now we're at 111 degrees. Yeah. 
couple of summers ago, we had a heat wave come through here, and I think we peaked out at 113. We don't hit 113s, so that was uh, that was quite a week. It was a, a week long of in the hundreds. By the end of that, our nights were only getting down to like the 90s. Didn't feel like uh, there's no air conditioning in this building, so we felt it. Anyway, uh, Rita is... All right, you're transporting that out there, okay. Carter's moving the wind turbine. Did you get your hat on? You... Constructing a fence. Let's get your hat on. I don't know what happened there, but let's do that now. So, Rita, your commands are those two and then coffee. Okay. And then you'll be doing your own thing. Carter, you're doing a hat and then you're doing your own thing. Constructing fence. You're putting in these guys. Okay. So repairs are done? I guess so. <clears throat> yeah. Now they came and pounded on kind of this area. But there's, yeah, there's no repairs to make. Okay. So repairs are all done. Good. At nighttime, we're at 104 degrees. Oh. Brings back memories. Um, Carter, when you're done, let's get this guy torn apart. Forgot about that. That can happen at any time, whether it's another supply crate or a rescue pod. Oh, the meat. Actually, in this heat, I bet you this is falling apart real fast. Yeah, there's got to be some serious rot going on. Too bad there's no pop-ups to give me a, a speed. 10 of 60, click again. Now it's only 4 of 60. 3... Waiting for that to drop to two. Two. Yep. So, Carter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're doing that. Let's have you haul those in. And, and these in. Okay, we're going to do a little hauling. Otherwise, you need some relaxation. You never really got it, but your happiness is fine. So, you can find a time later to do that. Oh, that drives me nuts. Why use the graphic of that box? It should be drinking ale. Ha! Ah, um, haul ale, no available storage. Okay. Let's turn ale on in here. I can't. Oh, I can't, yeah. So you are... Um, others... Ale, wine, and moonshine. Just to, just to get those in. Okay. So, Carter, you can haul, and you can haul... And Rita, visiting Draka. Rita, let's have you, boys. Is there any chance there's a, a story on a shelf after all this time? Where did those land? They were like in here. So Rita, nothing. Okay. Nothing else interesting to do. Now, if I were to say drink some wine, is that a thing anymore? It's not. Over here... Don't know where that ever got placed, or if we have any left. I think we were out of that. So ale is the only thing. I've kept this this series pretty much alcohol-free, but maybe they should have a uh, a little a little party with this ale before uh, before they say their goodbyes. That might be a a reasonable thing to do. Yeah. Okay, so visiting Draka, then you're probably going to bed. Carter's going to transport, then he'll be going to bed. We'll kick the speed up and get on to another day. Alright, so day 17 of year 4. Carter, you need to relax. You like to sit, so this will give you a double bonus. We'll go ahead and do that. Rita is actually doing just fine, so let's make some buttermelon pie. Where are you in this list? There you are. And how are we otherwise? Breads. Let's make some breads. So you can do those. Oils. We have to have oil to make bread. That's over here. We are down to five. Okay. So then I guess extract and extract. And that will give you what you need done. And then you'll drop into handling automatically, I'm pretty sure. Unless we're handling something else like these. Fuel-wise, where are we? That is here. Still almost 900. 
So I think we'll be fine there, though it is time to get these juiced up again. Carter, why don't you do that? Go ahead and refuel. And in case you won't do all of them, we'll refuel those as well. So they're starting up. Did you... You got those done. You got those moved. All right. So power-wise, we're making all that we can make. And we're still hot outside. We're 96 degrees at 9 in the morning. We're starting and stopping and starting and stopping. Just f fluttering at that 70% uh, that mark. All right, we have a lot of materials laying in the ground. That was, that was the plan. You can use all of these to build those. Perfect. Yep. So get those built, and this little tower area is done. Then you'll grab more and get these built. And then where are we at? That one's gone. Okay. That's the last of the meats. This did get loaded. Don't know if it's ever going to do any good, but yeah, it was worth trying. Um, so other than that, I'm sure we're due for an attack. It's been several days. More days than I expected. So it just feels like we're coming in a little bit random right now. I was going to say we should probably rebuild like from here to here. But this many days since an attack, I don't know that I want to try that. Um, though Carter is kind of finishing. Constructing a power switch. I set up a couple of power switches in here. Thinking I would set all of our internal wiring to these two switches and then when Carter is ready to leave as the very last act he can go and flip all the switches off thought that would be a, a fitting end kind of shut this the the settlement down and have it ready for whoever lands here next but at the moment I think I'm gonna give this a try how are we doing health wise with all this heat um, here we seem to be fine. Rita, how you doing? No problems. Okay, so our armor is already able to handle the heat just fine, but I just thought it would be fitting for Carter to do that. Let's do one of these at a time. Let's tear you down, and we'll just build this carefully. Carter, come do this. We'll put in one section at a time, or one area at a time, until we know... In fact, one of these gates should go away as well. Let's deconstruct you too. Okay, stop. And let's copy you to there. And Carter, let's get that done. Construct. Between that, that, and that one, you should have enough for these. No. I thought you would go and grab the other. Okay, so you get that one done. And then we'll set Tachyon Source. Set you guys to deconstruct as well. See if Carter does that on his own. Nope, he's gonna go drink. Okay, Carter, let's get these guys deconstructed. Perfect. And copy. Now rebuild from there to there. Though that's iffy on what we're gonna what's gonna happen here. Think about that. Yeah, the idea was that they'd be able to shoot them from here, and that's going to block it. So I think that's a mistake. Let's just rebuild you as is. Put you back. Sorry about that. Uh, he's going to be cussing me under his breath now, out here in this heat, and making him do this twice. But do that. And we'll call this good. All right, so that's done. We've scavenged, we have a tachyon source, thank you, Rita, that is how far away? So, there would be two tachyon sources, we skipped one. So you are the seven hour one, you're both seven hours away, right? Yeah. So that's too far away to be worth not being here when this hits. Okay. Something moved. No, just you guys randomly. Animal attack. 
Oh, we dropped right into range. We're going to attack already. Okay. Sure. Let's let that happen. In fact, let's uh, let's just encourage it to happen. Yeah. Take these guys out. You're going to be closer to there. You're in there. You're in there. And you are... I think you're going to double up right over here. Okay. Perfect. Get that going. Whoa, dudes. Where are you guys going at such a rate? Running around to go attack here. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Well... First of all, are we running on slower speed? We are. Carter, where are you at? You are constructing a power switch. Now, you are... You've got a stun gun. You do, so you don't have the reach. I need to get you equipped with a different gun. Rita, you are handling a cook stove with that in your hands. You can drop that and draft and head out to this tower and Carter I wish I can get two of you up on a tower can you stun anything from here draft and move to here let's see if you can reach them course, by the time you get here this may all be done in fact for that matter let's set one of you that's right you you guys look bigger wait a minute here you're a shrieker brood mother you're not even a nesting shrieker Ooh, yeah. Broodmothers, hatchlings, yeah. Hmm. I don't think I want Carter and Rita anywhere near this. I'm reconsidering things. Let's get these missiles to really do their job. I need you now targeting right there. And you, you, you're duplicating. Let's target you to here. Like so. So let's... If I were to do... Double click. Okay. Yeah, that's good for now. Alright, I need those missiles to really do their thing. And... You're not going to hit, are you? You're really not. Okay. You... Right there. You're just out of that range, which means we got to hit our fence. That's a bummer. Let's wait for Rita to do her thing. Rita should be almost there. She can take him out pretty quick. Now this guy is hitting what? Damage structures. Okay. Orbital communication not possible. Damage mini turret. Alright, so that's what you guys are hitting. Right there. You're stunned. Because of a missile or because Carter's in place? No, because of a missile. Where is Carter? He is still on his way. Okay. So you guys are doing what? I want to watch this tail. Yeah, you're hitting right there. Okay, you are not taking much damage. You're not taking any damage. Those guys are fine. Where are we at here? We're 15%, 5%, 20%. Okay, we're going to be fine for this amount of an attack. Rita's... Whipping that gun out of her back pocket. And can't see them. Interesting. There's no red dots here. There you go. Boom. Alright. Boom. And Rita? What you gonna do? You're acting like... Oh, you're cooling down. And... Oh, you're shooting over there. You can't see them. Okay. So if I said, Rita, can you... You were down? Yeah, that's just the heat making you move. If I said hit you, what would you do? Okay, you do have a shot. Alright. So, we're hitting this one. You're stunned. Anything else around? Aggressive animals have not attacked yet. Oh, we still got more in there. Okay. So, Carter, what are you able to do? You are able to shoot. Okay, good. You're stunning them, and they're down. Okay, 
So, Carter, can you reach anything? Let's get you to here. I think. I think so. And Rita, let's get you here as well. Animal attack one. So you're making your run in, but you're nothing. We have two more broodmothers somewhere. Or at least two more shriekers of some kind. Oh, unconscious. And that's it. Okay, we're basically done here. Alright. Yeah, the... You guys can undraft the equipment. Or the, the defenses will be able to handle anything else. So you're repairing what specifically, Carter? You're going right there. Okay. <clears throat> Rita, you didn't undraft? Okay. Handling traps. Good. And Carter, I need to make sure that you are going to also repair this guy. So let's get the, all that loaded in. We're down to 300 and something, and a lot of that is up there. Okay. <clears throat> now let's set all these to repair. Yeah, I, I want all this done. But let's get this guy done first, which needs what? Three metal alloy. Okay, that's the most important. Double click, repair. All of them took some damage. Okay, so that's there, and hopefully that means that you'll get the order to bring... Uh, repair you, so bring enough alloy for everything. Two, one, and three. Got it. All right, so you're done there. Rita's going to reset traps. Great. Otherwise, you guys are what? Carter needs relaxation of food eventually. Rita is in pretty good shape. So, Rita, what's the next most important thing for you to do? Food-wise, we're looking at three bread, two buttermelon pies, three meat pies, and I don't see coffee in that list. And 12 coffee. Okay. So when Rita is done, we're looking good there. Looking good there. And oils. So I would say you need to make some more buttermelon pie and some more breads. So when you're done, pop in here and do limit is reached <laughs> okay do bread and do bread and I thought we took it up to 10 we took coffee up to 10 or something I guess I never got to the buttermelon pie okay I didn't okay silly me Okay, so you got enough of the traps done. All right, Carter's getting something to eat. <clears throat> and you only got one of these done. All right, so you get your, your something to eat. Then we'll manually tell you if you'll, if you'll listen to repair that and to repair that and to reset these and anything else that I missed. All right, so then your day can be considered done. Rita's gonna get a bunch of cooking done her day will be considered done. And we survived another one. We did. Now, I don't know if drinking ale counts as relaxation, or does it tell me anything? Let's see, that's in here. You know, if you drink coffee, you get, I don't know, if you get energy or just what it is. Um, ales. There you are. So you... 30% chance to get drunk on. On consumption. You get 18 happiness. And apparently that is it. Now coffee... 100% chance to get caffeine on consumption, which has a happiness effect of 15. Okay. So 30% chance to get drunk, but it doesn't say what getting drunk means. I assume there's got to be a negative associated with that. So there's a chance of getting the 18 plus, which you can get for free off of any dirigidu. So that's why I've never seen the value of having that on and 
having all the inefficiencies come in from having a bunch of drunk colonists. But we can make exceptions for our final farewells. But that's not apparently going to happen this time. I'm a little surprised. I thought it would. Where are we now? We're probably about an hour in. There'll be some, some little snippets here and there to edit out while I was waiting. Let's go a little bit longer. Maybe we'll take it one more day and see if there's a chance that we'll get another call from a spaceship. That I'd be curious about. Temperatures in here were... That's not the refrigerator. Whew! 17. And in this one, we're at 50. That is the refrigerator. Wow. So this stuff's going to start spoiling in here. That could go bad. At least the meals are in here now, which is at 17. Okay. So, otherwise, Carter is drinking ale. So he must not be turned off for drinking ale. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just have Rita do the same thing. If I can. Can I tell you to drink ale, too? I can. Don't know if they're going to time out to be here doing it at the same time or not. He's got a trip to make. Yep, Carter's almost done. Any effects of that? Carter? Health? Drunk. So, consciousness minus 5, movement minus 10, manipulation minus 10. But he's going to sleep, so that's probably a bonus. <laughs> Rita, same thing. She's going to sleep next. So, we'll let that happen. No research. Stuff rotted away. Heat wave, and we're going to sleep. All right, we'll speed through one more a malfunction ceiling lamp. Yep, yep. Okay, we'll speed through one more day here, one more night, and see if anything exciting happens this last day. Otherwise, we'll call this episode done. And we have a newborn. Okay, which is right over here. So that gives us six, and we have no more room. So, yep, stuff's about to rot away. So if she gets pregnant again, I don't know what to say. I guess we just put a sleeping mat out on the ground out here and call it good enough. In fact, I, I guess we can just assume that's going to happen. So let's just pop it one in here. Um, something like that. That's the, that's the baby barn. Alright, so you guys actually had a lot of meat. You did. Uh, turn you back up. You guys are getting up, playing the didgeridoo. Rita is 93. Let's get her up as well. What are you going to do first? You're going to handle the cook stove. Do we still have some sticks out here? We, yeah. That needed to be done before. All right, so you are handling a diesel generator. That's probably a good thing to do. Let's get all of your your normal housekeeping stuff done that I don't know to to uh, tell you to do. Hopefully that means you'll handle all of them. Let's just watch this. Turn you off. And you're taking a walk. Good. That gives you a double bonus there. Then will you handle more generators? How are we doing? We are... So one day 16 hours, you're full. One day 10 hours. And one day 6 hours. You are handling fermentation barrels. No, nope, don't worry about those. Let's refuel these guys. The barrels loaded? They're not. So they've all been emptied. Okay. Alright, so let's go with... Okay, you're going to do that anyway. Unless I tell you manually. So manually, Rita, let's make some buttermelon pie. And let's make some meat pie. And then let's get these guys going for the rest of the day. Until we run out of ore. And then what is, is. Fullness. Never mind. Let's try this all over again. Um, eat a meat pie. Okay. Alright, you're set for the day. Carter, what you doing? 
You're repairing fortifications. Ah, these are over here. Good. So all these got done. These got done. Anything else get damaged? We have never seen the flamethrowers work. We never have. And... Likely no way we ever will. The attacks just don't make it past. Interesting. Is there any way to make that happen? We could turn it and aim it out this way. That just means it's going to be attacked and then have to repair it with alloy over and over again. No, these guys came early. They're probably scrap metal. Ha. <sighs> We have these guys that haven't been used either. Hmm. Otherwise, what's up? You are turned off for planting. Okay. So, food-wise, we have 2,200 grain, which needs to be brought in. So, Carter, that's probably you. Why don't you haul grain in twice? And you can do some hauling. Because you have a much higher carry weight. So you can, yeah, haul those guys. All right, that's probably your your uh, task for the day. Actually, one more. These guys in here, haul these bush fruits. They're kind of scattered all through here. So you're gonna haul for the rest of the day. Rita, that's Carter. Rita is going to do furnaces the rest of the day, and unless something pops in, this is gonna be a rather boring day of maintenance yeah we could I wonder what would happen if we sent them both away to tachyon sources let the let the settlement fend for itself and see uh, see what happens that'd be kind of an interesting challenge maybe we'll play with that beginning of next episode unless something changes our mind and something could we could have a bunch of Olfen come in and all of them just sit here and just pound away at this thing. It's possible. And I suppose it's possible that those Olfen might try to kill our Olfens, but I don't know. Don't know. Otherwise, yeah, just same old, same old here. Rita's getting these going. We've got a hundred alloy now in stock in the bank and more being made. Let's go to speed three, since they're not doing anything real exciting other than just doing what they're doing. Rita is going to need a full maintenance regimen here. So is Carter by the time we're done with all this. Getting them fed and getting them uh, relaxed. Okay, buttermelons. And then you've got these guys to bring in. Rita's bring, doing more furnaces. Now, games like Banished have, I think it was the Adam and Eve uh, challenge where you start off with just two people. You know, I never, I, I've been asked to do a series like that and I never wanted to because you spend most of the first 10 episodes doing this, watching one or two people try to do everything and, and never be able to do it. You know, this game is a lot more fun when there's a lot more survivors to be taking on all the different tasks waiting for one person to do 49 jobs just doesn't sound like fun to me that's why i've never done those kind of series yeah it's a challenge but it's more of a pride thing to prove that i can do it rather than an entertaining thing to sit back and watch animal attacks boom 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 those things built up quite quickly and you suddenly wanted me to know that you're out of space for grain i don't know why our heat wave is still going. So we're out of room for grain, and that's fine. But the animal attacks are over here. And where am I? An hour and ten or so into this. It's probably best that we leave this for next time. I think so. Let's call this one done. The Most likely the uh, fortification or the uh, uh, defenses are going to handle this one on their own. But... We'll see. We'll figure that out next time. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.